And they used to have this night at the Costa Mesa Fairgrounds. It was called the Fox Night. And your name, you remember that? The Fox Night? Yeah. Let me tell you about the Fox Night. And it, because the girls got in free, yeah. right? Yeah. And, you know, a lot of us riders sometimes would think, I don't think I want to transfer into the main event because I want to go up in the stands because there's so many girls. <laughs> so if we transferred in the main event, they're gone by the time we were changed and ready to go there. They had already left. Oh, where are all the chicks? Whoa, mama. So, yeah, the Fox Night was big and it was packed. <laughs> Every Friday, that they had the fo the Fox Night. It was great. Yeah, all the all the hot beach girls there, and all the guys would pay and follow. And yeah, I mean, full of these hot babes and stuff like that. I remember them great, great nights. Yeah, that was good. Man. Yeah, Larry Huffman gave me that Bruce the Fox penthouse, and I think uh, I think it was Flanders that gave me Juicy Brucey. You know. <laughs> But, you know, we, we, uh, I, I can remember going to a class at Larry Huffman. I know he was on your show. Um, in fact, we texted last night. Great guy. I've, I've kept in really good contact with Larry. But, um, I remember going to a class that he taught and there was only a couple of, of us that, sh that showed up. It was all about how to treat the fans and how to speak when the microphone was put in, in your face. And I'll tell you what, I learned a great deal from that, you know, you know, how to take care of your sponsors. And Larry Huffman is the one that taught that class. And I, I actually tell him to this day, you know, and he didn't quite remember that class, but I'll never forget it, you know. And uh, I actually, when I got inducted into the Motorsports Hall of Fame, I uh, I was able to choose Larry as as the guy that inducted me, you know, that that introduced me and had maybe two or three good words to say about me. I'm teasing that, but you know, Bruce Landers and and uh, of course Larry Huffman, Supermouth, you know, they really helped make Speedway. <laughs> I'm, I, I, and I'm serious when I say that. Yeah, the racing was great, but, you know, even Terry Clanton does a great job. All of them, all the announcers do a good job, you know? I kind of listen to you right now and think maybe you should have been an announcer. Oh, yeah, baby! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> never but, too uh, late. Never too late. Yeah, but Larry... Larry's a great guy, and he's gone through a lot of uh, problems, you know, with his foot. But um, he's a tremendous guy, and he really, really helped me get to where I was in Speedway, without a doubt. And had built me up in so many different ways. And I certainly respect and, and appreciate that. Larry is an amazing guy. I mean, he's done so much, and uh, you know, he just has a, hes just a legend. I mean, you have Larry, and then you have Bruce Flanders, and you know, I mean, these guys. I told—I told, I told uh, Larry yesterday when we had the show. I said, you know, Bruce Flanders and you were both, you know, the legends of Speedway. I mean, really, the the real legends, and. Uh, and then Larry diverted himself, and he said, well, Bruce Flanders was the legend. <laughs> oh, Larry, come on. He's, he is, too, you know? He is, too. The, I mean, Larry is the one Larry. that just set, set the freaking, you know, the paved the way for us. He really did. Yeah. As no, did Bruce, you know. without a doubt. Flanders, too? Absolutely. Well, they were a little different. You know, Bruce was kind of like a lower key guy. You know, he was baritone and he was always, he had that banter to him. He would say these crazy, funny jokes and, you know, he would just like say things that were really funny and stuff. He kind of had his own style of humor. And Larry was kind of 
like a real frazzle dazzle guy, you know, he really like, ah, you know, yeah, but remember Huffman had some really good one liners too. Yeah. I mean, I can't remember him, but, oh, he would say some of the funniest crap, you know, and, you know, about a different writer, you know, and, you know, I, I can't remember him, but he was great. And yeah, of course, and he had his, you know, the tuxedo on and did the Huffman hop, you know. Those things we'll never forget. And yes, you're right. Flanders was a little bit warm on tone, had a great voice, and of course a beer in front of him. You know, <laughs> had to have that beer in front of him. But uh, yeah, those great guys. Great guys. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, they're great. One time I was racing uh, around 2008, and uh, Bruce Flanders, he came up to me and he said, I was a little fatter back then when I was like living in America. I was eating more like tacos or something. <laughs> That's for sure. That was 